Actually, I got an idea. Oh, you got something? You know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of fucking fanboys. <laughs> fanboys! It doesn't there. fucking matter. Okay, I'm PC. So I'm PC, so of course you have like the PC master race. <laughs> Anytime you have a new console, you're gonna have like, you know, the jerk off PC guys saying, well, you know what? We've had that shit for years. Whatever. But the thing is, is like, not only do you have the, the, you know, the Xbox fanboys, the Nintendo apologists, the PlayStation fucking douchebags, you know, PC actually has... That was pointed at us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, 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 fucking we're, we don't even bring it up ever. Yeah, but we don't even bring like, it up. No, we, we even even if you're a PC player, you got fucking fanboys when it comes to your fucking parts. It's ridiculous. Like, so... Parts. You, parts? But it's not yes. even... That's not a trend. This is not a trend. This is No, like, that shit this is going on. This has been going on for a while. This is different. That's different. This shit is old, man. Like... If you're a fanboy of AMD or Intel, I mean, Jesus fucking yes, Christ, sorry. as long as your games fucking play, who gives a shit? And like... Number uh, two, Justin number two is fueled. I know. He's fueled. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, wait, he's going I'm to lunch. for this fucking moment. <laughs> <It's laughs> yeah. But seriously, it's like, if you define your life by the products you buy, get a fucking life. Get laid. Yeah, get some laid. Get some laid. Yeah, get some, some laid. Some get some laid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because really, it's kind of fucking sad. <laughs> and now we have the world of the PC game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you! Couch Co-op, uh, the show where we talk about fucking video games, motherfucker. So uh, on this, our third episode, uh, I have nothing new to report from the viewers out there, but uh, so let's just get to the show, and off the top I want to see who's a new, a virgin with us, Aaron. Yo. This is the guy you can blame for the audio in the first episode. In the second episode. <laughs> in the second episode, probably. <laughs> anyway, no, he's our new, the new guy. Heyo. Heyo. And, uh, and we have Jared back. And we have Justin number two, or just Justin in, 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 in this case. J2. J2. J Deuce. Word. So what you guys been up to this week? Who wants to go first? Who wants to talk? Make the virgin go first. Virgin. All right, well, you know. Make him bleed. Something I've been playing... And I just finally got into the game. The Kingdom Hearts HD Remake. Fantastic game. I mean, granted, it's a little kitty, but... Disney I characters? No, those, are, those, those aren't kitty. They're kitty. Those aren't kitty. They're kitty. The little... point is, it's a fun game. <laughs> it's very... How did you miss this game when it first came out on the PS2? Well, let's see. I was trying to chase girls because my testicles finally dropped. So, it was a good game. That's so. a game I'm not interested in. Jerry, what have you been up to? <laughs> well, this week I beat uh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh, I still have to beat through that. I still go through that game. It's worth the playthrough. It's it? pretty awesome. But uh, also, just after that, I started Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Oh, yes. I we had, talked about I that in our too. first episode. Yeah, it's such a good game. It's ridiculous. It, it is it's ridiculous. so awesome. <laughs> and what about you, uh, Mr. Daniels? Um, actually, I've been going through uh, uh, Skyrim. Uh, again. Uh, again. Again. Yeah. Again. I've done it before because I actually had it before I got rid of the, my 360. I had it then. Uh, but then I was able to pick it up um, during the winter uh, Steam sale for like seven bucks. And now I've been trying it with uh, a ton of user mods. Yeah, right. And uh, it actually is basically a whole different game now. Because yeah. not only can you do like additional graphic mods, um, you can also add different You NPC. can do co op with that now, can't you? Like, there's uh, a co op mod for that? I would I would imagine so. I, think oh, yeah. I would really imagine so. Oh, I, heard I there haven't was. done that one. Yeah, but I actually installed a mod that actually adds another element um, where you can have exposure. So during like some part of the night, you look at the sky and it turns on the setting where you actually could get hypothermia, and you're required to eat and have shelter. So when it's snowing, it's not just a cosmetic effect that's happening in the world. This actually can affect how you play. Oh wow! That's so I've cool. always, I'm always like pervy to like the uh, stealth archer types, where I'm just sneaking in the dark and just sniping fuckers. Mm -hmm. Like, if you are hypothermic out, like your stats drop, you can die even though no enemies attacking you. 
And so it's really interesting. And I'm actually there. I'm actually going to go through again because the level of mods that are available for Skyrim is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. You can make Hundreds. it. You can make it look like I guess a new current gen or next gen or whatever. It's, it's one of the games I regret that I. It's one of the games I wish I could play on PC. Yeah, of all it, of these and it's incredible mods. Pretty and like, I have maybe like a mid range PC. At best, if like I'm boasting it or anything, but like it still runs really well. And on top of that, I'm doing like uh, Dark Souls again. And if you haven't played Dark Souls yet, you're fucking up in life. You gotta play that shit. <laughs> you gotta play that shit. Like people talk about, they're getting tired of playing the same fucking Zelda game over you're and over for again. The sequel then? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like you know, I'm not. I'm to the point now where I'm not too excited about many games that are coming out because they're basically the same fucking thing. Which but that's be the, soon though, isn't it? it it's March. Months. It's yeah, gonna be uh, so yeah, next, next month. Next month, yeah. Yeah, so that and like I am very curious about the new Thief game that's coming out because I I played the original first Thief. I never right. did the second one or the third one, but they were the first uh, stealth genre I ever checked out. And of course, you know. Stupid me for reading comments to anything I read on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck is my problem? But, like, of course, everybody is saying, like, oh, it looks like fucking Dishonored. Which basically. But what is that? Dishonored such a good fucking game. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a bad comparison. I mean, but, like, if your automatic, like, knee jerk reaction is it looks like Dishonored because it has an element of, like, steampunk to it, then, like. A lot of games have that nowadays. But you too. have to understand, I mean, like, you know. Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. yeah. Thief did it fucking first. <laughs> well, uh, I've been playing. Uh, well, honestly, I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo Six still. Uh, so that's not very exciting, but I've been playing that. So how was that oh, different dude. from Number Five? Uh, it's a brand new physics engine. Really? Totally brand new physics engine. Uh, I mean, the game itself is pretty much the same, obviously, as Gran Turismo. Uh, the menu system's a lot better, mm -hmm. uh, and there's just a lot of cars. But the physics engine, it's it's it. Uh, it is a lot more drift happy. Like in the corners, you can totally sense it. And then is it does, and then does it feel can, more arcadey because of that or no no it's not no not like that at all it's like it's like it like the car gives like you know and okay. then it will give and then you can control it and then and then there's that moment where it's, oh you're fucked but it no it's a really good physics engine and I think I, I said about it in the first episode I just feel like it's not you're not racing cars I feel like once yeah. you get past a car there's not that sense of racing yeah and I I really hope in the next generation that mm -hmm. with all the RAM and stuff that these systems have. That they really work on the AI because that's, I think that's just the, the one thing that's, that's missing, missing from the game. game. But I've been playing that because I, I love just racing cars. And uh, all right, so now uh, we're gonna go over the topic of the week. And uh, today's topic is current video game trends that we like or dislike. What what is going on? Who wants to go first in this? Virgin. Virgin again. Damn it. God. Uh, all right, Go so it, you know, I noticed something interesting that goes on lately. And I, everybody here has noticed it. G uh, HD remakes. There's been a lot of them lately. It's starting to drive me nuts a little bit. Although some of them I find really cool. Like, but you're buying them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah. definitely. So it's a problem. But definitely into it. Yes. So, well, he, well. Okay. So I'll, I, I will. I will tack on to this. Like not only the HD remakes, but now definitive edition on Tomb Raider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is, do you guys see this as a problem? It's tuned as the same exact thing. Do you, do you, do you feel like this is... I like think, if for the example of Tomb Raider, I won't see it's that much of a problem considering like that was... They had such a high amount of money to make in the first place to break even. So just the fact that it's probably another reason for them to just make an extra profit for... Uh, what they're doing, especially if we, if we want a Tomb Raider too. I mean, that's exactly because Tomb Raider, the new Tomb, the Tomb Raider, Raider is, is awesome. fantastic. It's a great game. And to say to be in a position where if you sell three and a half to four million copies and you're still, still considered yeah, a failure, right? Then you know what? If you want to like kind of like you know just basically squeeze some more blood out of that rock, then God bless you. Like mm -hmm. freaking do it. I mean, like go ahead. Um, there are certain instances where I do think that. The HD remixes are kind of, you know, just plain about shitty. About the Halo one? They made a remix? The they did original, yeah, Halo. Okay, oh, the ones I think that are cool... They're doing Fable. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. uh, uh, but like, okay. Uh, but like, not so sir. But like, okay. Bionic Commando Rearmed. Awful. Amazing. Oh, Rearmed. Yeah, Rearmed. Rearmed. It was I, I amazing. Was just amazing. That's a reworking of the game. Yeah. Like yeah, totally that was reworking. Yeah, yeah, it was reworking. Was awesome. The new Strider game that's coming out looks amazing. So when you're talking about like old school games, 
you're having people, or like the new DuckTales, even though I've heard that was a pile of shit because they just took it in the wrong direction and like the new, like what? Um, they made it harder, I Castle guess. Castle of Illusion, no. The problem I heard was they didn't make it harder. They made unskippable cutscenes with them just talking about meaningless bullshit that you could not skip. Oh, really? That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So they basically unburied the dude who did the voice of Scrooge McDuck. He was like in his late 90s from my understanding. Wow. But I like, I, like, I like the Ratchet and Clank HD remix. I yeah. mean, that was fun. Uh, I, have, uh, I have the up, uh, the Peace, uh, I mean, Peace Walker was only a PSP game, and then they did their HD remix for the PS3, and that, that allowed me to play it, so that was cool. But I can see where they're kind of like, just they're just kind of, buy, you know, just kind of sucking on your nostalgia a little bit. With, well, especially with Kingdom Hearts, I feel, I played Kingdom Hearts back then, and it was a great experience, but I have no interest in paying to play that again. I, mean, I, think, like, I, I think maybe if you're adding new mechanics, so I know Kojima said that he would be interested in seeing uh, metal, the original Metal Gear Solid redone in the new Fox engine. But then that's a whole different camera system. Exactly, that's, yeah. a, whole, that's, that's, that's a whole new game. But if you're all, if all you're doing is just upresing your game, that's it. Then yeah, that's bull. That's bullshit. What do you but, think, Jared? But then there's people like me that I I didn't I never got to play the series back in the PS2 era, or PS1 even in some of these situations yeah. for the HD remakes, but. Now I have a chance, so that's kind of cool. I think that's pretty neat that well, I actually have the ability to go back and play that. Well, they did, if I don't have the PS2. The they did, they did the Mass Effect trilogy, you know, and so like they brought Mass Effect One to the PS3 and like a you know kind of remake. Though. But yeah. I always hear this awful shit from my friends and just how abortive that game is in certain areas, and like you just don't want to play it. So I just have no interest in playing it. I just hear the, like the control sucks, and and I guess they didn't fix any of that stuff. So it's like so you're talking yeah, about the first one then? Helpful. Yeah, the very first game. Okay. So it's like, and I love two and three, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's like, and they say just you played those, so you don't want to go backwards on the mechanic. It'll just you'll just hate the game, right, Dave? That's I correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, so unless I really, I just want to become the character. I guess like just. You know, I just uh, at the same it. time though, like especially with a, a series as story focused as the Mass Effect series would be, you are really missing a vital chapter because if you start off with the second uh, Mass Effect, and you know what? I mean, spoilers! Have the there. Spoilers! Yeah. This game, this series has been out for over a fucking year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, when the beginning of number two, Shepard dies. If you haven't played the first one, you don't give a fuck about Shepard. You exactly. don't. But, there's but a if comic. you played the they first gave us one, comic. Yeah. Yeah. give us a comic. Give us a comic. But you still don't give, give a, a shit because you didn't spend like thirty plus hours with you're that right, original right. Shepard. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The story of the first is really good. But the two is but two is so good because you're so right, I didn't care. But been. I play through two and I'm in love with Shepard. So oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I played through two. I think so two is the best two. version of the game. Oh yeah. Like, it so, was absolutely. Yeah. So uh well okay, who uh next? So here, I got a question. Oh, yeah, I got a question oh, for me. Yeah. Since we're talking about Mass Effect, they are making obviously another Mass oh. Effect game. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna sequels. This is kind of uh, Aaron's third. What do you want? For the next Mass Effect game, I don't. I don't want another Mass Effect game. So you don't want anything in that universe, period. I, I, think it I like just an want MMO style, like open-ended. I don't ended. think it should like, be MMO. Pick and choose. Where you come on, sequels. Come on, but man. I, I think it should Original just take IPs. place in the Mass Effect world with the mythos of Brown Shepard. It mm -hmm. should just be kind of a background story that people talk about. Because that world was so fleshed out, all the different types of races yeah, and characters. Thought, like, uh, there's so much blood left in that planet, that whole universe. That maybe, but so I don't many need it. I don't need the Shepard story is done. Keep her, yeah, keep he, yeah. she buried. Right. And that's what's going to happen, yeah. I feel. But I just, I'm not ready for another Mass Effect game. I could be a years down the road and yeah. I bring it. I just, I feel yeah, like well. they hit us over the head with sequels. It's like, it's like uh, Microsoft just bought the Gears of War franchise. Yeah. And so like we're going to get a Gears yeah. of War 5, I guess, because they already had 4 and no one bought 4. So clearly. It was a pre -quil. Well, whatever. But it's the fourth iteration well, of yeah, Gears yeah. of War. No one seemed to care about it. No one cared about the fourth gear, uh, God of War series that came Ascension. out. And they're going to yeah. be another one. There's obviously going to be another one for PS4. I mean, I feel like they just beat an Assassin's Creed for Christ's yes. sake. Are you fucking... I'm done with this fucking franchise at this point. It's like... But people just fucking just... Eat it keep up. giving the money. What Justin's not even on the scene, but like Grand Theft Auto... At least Grand Theft Auto has the right mind to like put years between their games. It's like... Uh, but Call I think with like Grand Theft Auto, it's one. basically um, just the gameplay aspects that only really link them together. I mean... And... 
unfortunately, like Grand Theft Auto has been in that position where they were the pioneers for that style of uh, sandbox gameplay that other games such as the St. Trude franchise, uh, games like Sleeping Dogs, have actually have gone and taken that element and made it better than Grand Theft Auto has. Well, so, at least in areas. Uh, the only thing, in certain areas, correct. The only thing that Rockstar really has working for it is its ability to write a story. I personally, being PC, have See, not played... I don't played. think the story's that good. I think what's I, awesome... But no, about but like I'm saying, like, but um, what I'm going to say, though, is since I haven't personally played Grand Theft Auto V, I did mm. play, before I got rid of my Xbox, um, Red Dead Redemption. That's a good Now, Red Dead Redemption is an amazing game yeah. with a really good story. And the soundtrack is great. And, like, the scapes... But, and that hasn't been done very much by other developers. So that's the one thing that Rockstar has working for it. Yes, their humor is dated now, and they got to move on. But they're I think what they do now, and I think what they've worked, I think they've fleshed out all the bugs in their system, and I think they build a, a beautiful world. Mm -hmm. I feel like the story is, at this point, the weak part. But I think, man, I wanted the story to be so much better in that game because the world is such a great place to be in. Yeah. And that was my biggest disappointment of the game. But I feel like at least... Between their games, I mean, it's Grand Theft Auto 4 came out, and then it's been years, and then Grand Theft Auto 5 came out. You have Assassin's Creed 3, and then on top of Grand Theft Auto, you know, or Assassin's Creed 3, and then Assassin's Creed 4, and now we have another one coming out. Yep. And they've already said there's another one coming out. And it's like, it's like saying with like, oh, first person Call shooters, like Battlefield or Call of Duty. It's like, they beat us over the head with these sequels, and it's just like, do we care? But clearly, right. people buy them, so. I think, like, I think there's a big difference, though, if when you're talking about, like, the Call of Duty series, uh, other than the, the Assassin's Creed, because you're right, Assassin's Creed, you're basically just buying the same shit over and over again. But when you're buying those Call of Duty games, well, the majority of the people who buy them, e I believe, it's like an e okay, at this point. I'm going to, like, just basically talk out my ass right now, and say that <laughs> mostly people buy that for the multiplayer. Really? Yeah. So if, if, uh, if Activision were to come out with a system where, you know what, if you were to spend $10 a month, and you get every single brand new map. And we'll do like minor updates like every year or so to maybe like just do things like, you know, basically do some balancing. And all you do is you, if you pay that $10 a month, you get every single brand new map, every single brand new weapon, et cetera, et cetera. That could be a good direction for them to go into because you know what? At the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about their story. It's exactly. about the multiplayer. But you say that right now. But like Titanfall is going to come out, Xbox One, 360, yeah. PC. Mm -hmm. No campaign. No campaign. And I think people it's... are going to shit bricks when they find out that it's only multiplayer. Because I don't think people really understand that right now, that it's only multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And I think you're, there's going to, I mean, I it's no going to sell, it's, it's going to sell boxes, it's going to sell a shitload. But there's going to be this backlash where. But the thing is, like, our I mean, that's people, a trend. Should, but, should, should multiplayer games even have a, a campaign anymore? I really don't think so. I mean, like, you have Battlefield now. The past two Battlefield games have come with a campaign. And it sucks balls. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, are people buying Battlefield for the campaign? No. If you're buying for the campaign, then you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is true. Because it's the most on-rail shooter. Um... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that is what those games are now, is basically you get with your buddies and just blast some dudes in the face. And Titanfall is basically you blast some dudes in the face with mechs. That's basically what and, it is. Yeah. So come on, so, so, some other trends, Jared. Do you have a trend? Well, one thing I've noticed that's pretty awesome is... Oh, we're going to go awesome. An awesome well, trend. It is. It's been an awesome it's been trend. for a while. <laughs> MMOs on Type. consoles. You know, those, those have been going around for quite a while. I mean, there was some before Final Fantasy XI back on the PS2. But now, I mean, just thinking on the top of my head, there's... What? Uh, Final Fantasy XIV on PS4. DCU O's on PS4. Uh, there's going to be uh, uh, Elder there's... Scrolls Online, mm -hmm. the new EverQuest. All these are going to be on consoles. MMO, and I'm sure there's some that haven't even been announced. I mean, it's it's kind of awesome. I, I never thought I'd get into MMOs, but PS3, you know, I got now, into now remind Final me, Fantasy XIV. Uh, is the new, next EverQuest coming out? That's the one where they're actually incorporating some, like, what, uh, Minecraft-type elements? Where okay, so for that, for? For that I, so EverQuest Next it has, is a two-stage launch. Okay. So yeah. the first stage launch is this, like, building... Uh, kind of world where you can build things, yeah. and it's allowing users to build things for the actual game. Okay. And then the second stage is the actual game that comes out, mm -hmm. and so if you build something and then it gets passed by all these certain filters or whatever. So as long as I'm not big and thick. Yeah, right, right. Like <laughs> giant pocket balls. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really know because I'm not a part of that, but I guess that's out already. 
I, I think. I have no idea. Anyway, when the actual game comes out, then yeah, maybe in the world that'll be there, and then that comes out on PC first. But I, I believe it's yeah. coming to PS4 as well. So, is there anything that is has even come close to like what World of Warcraft has done at their peak? No, 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 no never. Not is that like basically like the light? Not even the, the Star Wars one. Yeah, it's surprising. No, Star Wars fell super. It super fast. Went free to play. Really most quick. most yeah. games go they at this point they're either free to play or they do a subscription model for a little while and then they go free to play. Free to play. That's, that's, also, that's, 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 that's a good trend. Thing. That's still a microtransaction issue. Yeah. I feel like Much. Justin brought it up in Rockstar. He doesn't like having the microtransactions. But it's not free to play. No, but but, but when you're talking about microtransactions in games. I mean, but free to play. That's what. But that's what I'm coming into. It's like uh, we were playing DCUO with Matt. And I bought the game. That's right. And so I have all this stuff. I originally bought the game way back. And then I'm playing the game. And then he just joined because it's free to play. And they took elements out of the game and made you buy them. Really? Because it's free to play oh. now. So they need to make money off the game. So I feel like, so God, they, they, they want to get play. you. And that's free to play for you. It's jacked up it's from what I've noticed. It's free like, Because I, I have uh, Dead, Dead Space 3. And Dead Space has been known for actually a pretty solid franchise, but it wasn't until like number three where all of a sudden you have some little robot that's supposed to scavenge you parts to make shit, but then uh -huh. they're like, oh, well, you can totally find this immediately if you throw down a couple credits. Uh -huh. and it's, and like, I still this, need to pick it up. That's, uh, is it worth it? But see, that's the microtransaction thing we're talking about. It's like yeah. Justin brought it up in Rockstar, they're doing it. Like, if you want to get ahead, you can get money. Uh, Forza. The new Forza yeah, for Xbox One got more lambasted uh, for it because it's like, oh, this it. is this is your XP for this round. But if you want to make ten times this, you can buy it. And it's it's a I mean, whereas Grand Theft Auto is just kind of in a screen where you can buy it in a menu. I mean, Forza was like in your face after you finished the race. Oh, you could do that. You can like, buy this right now. I mean, it's constantly yeah. telling you you can be making more money, like uh, like playing the free to play real racing a mobile game. on a mobile game. That's, but it's like a mobile game, yeah. and you're like you bought this game for sixty bucks. Yeah. Why? Why is this in? Why am I being added? To, you know. You know. That's so. Ridiculous. But then, like at the same time, like okay, so this is of a PC guy. Let me suck Valve's dick for a second. Oh, here we go. But like you oh, have boy. Team Fortress Two. We're gonna do that. And in you have episode. Dota Two. <laughs> Yeah, Dota 2, you have two prime examples of how free-to-play is done correctly. You you can totally play Team Fortress 2 to your heart's content, not pay a goddamn cent. Well, if, you want to buy a hat, if you want to buy a hat for your character, then of course you can spend some cash, but they it doesn't change how the game so plays. Of the hats. Exactly. Well, exactly. they don't need to make money off that game at this point, though, either. But that they game are money. making money. Well, yeah. That's the whole point. And the whole point of, like, Dota, like, so... You can even, I don't know what how Dota is ranking right now, but I know between either uh, League of Legends and Dota 2, those are the two biggest games that are played online right now. Between those two games. And you don't have to pay a penny to play either one of them. But they're both making cash hand over fist. So you don't have to do it in such a way that is so offensive and egregious that it absolutely removes the elements that you're used to playing that you actually paid for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get together, people. This whole second screen tablet thing, mobile device use uh, bullshit, I feel. What do you, I mean, I, I, I feel like we can, we can down on Nintendo a little bit here. I feel like Nintendo built a console around a reactionary thought to the iPad, I felt. Like, they didn't innovate, they reacted. And that's yeah. why their console's failing. But like, all the other consoles are reacting to like Nintendo doing this. And, but do we really care about having, like, being able to, like, oh, I'm playing the game, and, like, now I need to fucking call Garrus? Well, shit, I think, like, Nintendo's, you know, Nintendo's failing in more reasons just other than putting, a, like, a tablet on their actual game system. But, like, but what, do we, but what do we think about this? I think I, I, I have not personally, do like, done it myself, but, for example, I know, like, in Battlefield, supposedly you can call mm -hmm. in, like, airstrikes or right. some shit. Mm -hmm. I never done that myself, but supposedly if you can totally do that, that could be a cool element to yeah. do. But if it doesn't cost you extra to yeah, do if it, it's, it's just, if it's something that's like built in, then that's great. But See, I mean, I think it's just another kind of weird gimmick they have, like putting 3D in your games. Like maybe that only one percent of the actual user base is going to actually use. See, there's something really cool about the idea of having a tablet. Like with certain games, like the football games, or with what he was talking about, Battlefield or whatever. You could use the pad to make like a strategy thing, like for Madden or whatever the right, sports right. games. You can like, like write up a strategy for how you can take this, for take the other team down. It's really cool. But on the same hand, what they were doing with Nintendo, it was completely irrelevant to have. The well, none of their games anymore. are using it. 
Yeah, it's irrelevant. They yeah. built they built this into their console, and none of their games use it. There, there's a purpose for it. I, I, I could see the tablets being used in situations like card games. Like people want because we play so many card games. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, there's Uno play on the PlayStation. You know, instead of just yeah. grabbing a deck of cards. I haven't played yeah, that in like two years. Your phone, if you want to play <laughs> but, it. Too, you yeah, know. simple things like that. But, but I shit, haven't like, found a use for so it. So it's yet. just like it's just a gimmick, like anything. Yeah. So far, Nintendo, Nintendo doesn't know what the hell they're doing right now. So, but being able to play okay, a game yeah, on your play. handheld, like if I had a PSP or Vita, whatever, and. That would be nice. As a family man now, it'd be nice while the wife's watching TV if I could play a game mm -hmm. on my... The streaming? Yeah, on my PlayStation. That'd be nice. But as an addition to a game that you're already playing, I mean, yeah, it, it could be cool, but nobody's really implemented anything that's worthwhile yet that I've heard of. I haven't tested it myself. I think Warframe has something, but it was... There's no graphics on the screen to tell you what you can do. Mm. So I, I guess you have to go to the forum and see, just like <laughs> everything else in that game. Yeah. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about that's the new trend or like what's coming to a lot of these consoles is uh, streaming gameplay, streaming to your con not owning, not downloading, not owning a physical copy, but streaming to your like consoles. What do you, what do you guys think about this? I think it's uh, fantastic. I find yeah. it interesting. Oh, but it's a subscription, mate. What if you already, already oh, okay, so you have it, you think you're awesome, what do you already own the game? There's other games on there. I Can mean, it, if you own every game on there, yeah, it's obviously nothing you're going to get any value of, but the likelihood that you're going to own every single game that they're going to put on there over time, maybe at the beginning it can be kind of tough to find something that you actually want to play, but uh, I know it won't, it'll be limited just due to the fact that you need at least... Five megabytes per second for an well, on the, on, that's, the, that's, on that's, the PS4 version yeah. or the PlayStation, but like uh, I mean, you're getting like, a Steam one, right? But but think about it this way: I mean, like if you have Netflix, I'm pretty sure you at least own one of the movies that is streaming on there. So right. it's the same principle. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, also, right. And, and the, the thing is, first. like, yeah, I'm to the point now, like, where we really need to. I know some people are really have their hearts set on actually owning the tangible item, mm -hmm. but. The loss have changed in such a way, especially with the Millennium Copyright Act, that you may own a disc, but that's all you own is the actual disc. The content yeah. on it, you do not own. You do not own it. So it's, that's basically why you see like those FBI warnings and stuff at the beginning. If you wanted to broadcast the movie in front of like 50 of your friends, Couldn't. you don't can't do that the right. because you don't have the right to it. So uh, basically, the idea is if is if you could just like click a button, maybe wait for it to stream up, and the latency. That's the huge part. What about the price, though? Isn't the price a big issue, too? I mean, aren't you kind of concerned about what they're going to charge us for this? Yeah, I mean, if you... Still no idea. I would like to think... That's right, Netflix. And I obviously... It live can't a different, I live in a different world than you guys, because, like I said, I, I do PC, and PC games get reduced... The digital versions get reduced quite a bit, whereas if you, were trying, if you go onto the Xbox Marketplace, and you buy a game that's, like, three years old, you're gonna be paying sixty bucks for it, mm -hmm. but if you're on Steam, like I bought Dark Souls for seven bucks, seven fucking bucks. It's not that big of a deal, but if you can just if you if you if you had a subscription based like that I can't think, be it couldn't be I more than fourteen ninety nine, could it? It couldn't. I don't think it could be more than that. It depends. I think you know you have your Rock Band controller right there, and let's say let's say for example, you can do a Rock Band subscription where if you spend Maybe five, ten, twelve. I don't know. I've never played those games, so I don't know what it's worth. I don't know what the tangible value is. But let's say you paid a subscription. You had access to every single song that's available. That would be something that you might be worth. That might be worth something to you. Right, right, right. And it's kind of like everything is now moving to the subscription base now. You have HBO Go. If you could buy HBO Go by itself, I would buy that I shit would, in a heartbeat. Yeah. yeah. You know what? WWF or E now, WWE mm -hmm. now has their own streaming service. I used to watch wrestling growing up. Mm -hmm. And if I could like have a subscription service to watch all that old ass shit with like Lex Luger and Randy Savage back in the day, like watching those old matches. This is not a wrestling video show. That would be no. awesome. I would be down to check that out. So this is, this is the natural progression how content is going to be available. Why would you buy music if you have Spotify or something equivalent available where you don't have to buy music. It's available for you day one. Because I like vinyl. Yeah. Or CD. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> but just to be you, of no, course. But no, but what I'm saying is like, no, I, I totally understand what you're saying. Um, I, but I, I agree with you. Your one of your very first points was the latency and yeah. this internet speed, and that's another thing with this net neutrality thing that you know went down, like. The services, like, they're going to be able to cap us now. I mean, you got to, I mean, oh, sure, I have five megabytes, but they're not going to allow Sony to do five megabytes over my, yeah, you, know, sure. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to get, I mean, the amount of fucking that we're going to be taking in the next few years could be very serious. That's why people do not kids, get involved with their kids, fucking government. I got a pro tip for you. <laughs> you got to get yourself a business internet connection. <laughs> Start your own business, even if you don't do shit with it. Just so you can get business internet, no data caps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's that's my last topic of the day, and uh, so uh, that has been an epic dialogue for episode three. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I want you to subscribe to the channel that's here somewhere. Don't, don't, don't touch him there. Don't, it, it, here. Yeah, you don't want to. And uh, a little right, secret. We hope you like our show. Please leave comments. Get back to us. We will. If it's a decent comment and not X-rated, we'll put it on the show. And even if it's X-rated, we'll probably put it on the show anyway. Uh, but yeah, from all of us here at the couch, and everywhere else in the world. Goodbye. Word. Bye. <laughs>